Hello, good morning. Ah, now there's no echo. Um, we are going to uh, have a look at some other Old Nubian texts. Um, over the last uh, couple of months, um, a group of uh, scholars, including myself, uh, have been working on the texts from uh, Sonkitino, uh, a church in Nubia that was uh, excavated by the Italian mission in the 60s. And um, there are a number of old Nubian texts still that we are uh, going to deal with, two larger ones. And so I want to have a look at least at one of those today and maybe also the other one as well. Um, so let's get started. Um, it's been a while since I made a video, so uh, forgive me if this looks a little bit uh, shaky. Um, good, let's go to here. Um, this is an inscription that we have provisionally called AW4. So it's in room eight on the Western wall and it's the fourth inscription. Um, this uh, Western wall shows a uh, image of Jesus protecting uh, King George. Um, you see actually here, you see part of that image and you see here also Georgiou Basileus, so King George. This is probably like Polata Eta or something like uh, many years or basically happy birthday, something like that. Um, but what we are interested in is this inscription right here. And it seems the inscription even continues here. So we'll see. Uh, if this is actually the case so that the inscription would kind of run run like this. And this then suggests that the edge of our inscription, so what we're missing, um, would basically run like this, right? So we have this entire part here where we expect inscription. Uh, and that's missing. And as you can see, that is indicated here. Um, I am not so sure about that um, for reasons that will become clear in a bit. I don't think that the margin is this large. Um, I have the feeling that the inscription actually um, ends already earlier, uh, but we will see. All right, so let's start at the beginning. Um, let me just make sure, yeah, I'm recording. Um, We have two inscriptions, this transcriptions here. I'm going to start with mine that I made at some point, and we're gonna, just going to work and see if we can make some type of translation as well. Um, this text is really quite interesting because there are a lot of words that we don't know what they mean. Um, and that's, uh, that's totally exciting. So you, as you can see, I already made some notes here at some point. Ah, this is about the lower inscription. So let's just get started here. Um, um, we have Eno Anna. As this is not entirely clear, and probably what I should do is at least. This um, phrase I actually should look up. Um, this has been encountered also elsewhere as a phrase. Uh, I know in, uh, in documentary texts, I know is obviously um, here a um, verbal form. And I know is a demonstrative I actually have to look up where where I have seen this before. I might have to do this a little bit later. Oh. 
Um, then we have I. Which is simply a first singular pronoun. I, and then we have Kus. And this is clearly a, a personal name. And Kusi, I think, has been also um, attested elsewhere. This is, you know, the field of specialization of Grzegorz, who has, um, who knows everything about Nubian names. But I'm just going to have a brief look in the appendix of the dictionary. And we have uh, a name Kusan in PQI3. Uh, and let's see if we also have. Oh, it's such a mess here. Um, If we find his name also in uh, PQI form, titles, names, kus, kus, kus. And we have kusi. Mm. This is seventy four verso. In, and we also have. So this name can have several endings, so we really cannot uh, reconstruct it properly. Recto 3, Kus, Kit. Okay. Um, I, Kus, um, then I have your I, but that there is clearly a Yota here, as you can see, but it makes no sense that, um, this is not I in any case. This makes no sense. No, this is just a letter. Um, don't really know, <clears throat> but this doesn't definitely seems to be the a title Dawina. In line two. Is Dawir, uh, which means great. Um, with genitive, no. And then we have Toto. Toad, son, or indeed the office toad. I, Kus, and then we have the next line. Here I see a um, uh, 
I see a triangular shape actually. Um, looking at this, oh, this triangular thing here, this. Um, could be a delta or an alpha. How many letters is I, Cus? This could very well be Cusan actually, because this could be an alpha here. And you see the tops. Just maybe just doing this, and then we have maybe one. How many letters is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about the same length. So let's say six, seven letters. Maybe, and then maybe an alpha or something like that. Now, then, what we totally expect here is so um, up and then it definitely should say in the name of that's totally what is expected and the thing is I have the impression I can actually see this this shape here and then maybe even a triangular shape there um, And I really think that it should be something tennis. Something like that. Which then means. Yes, it certainly should be a cross before this. The question is do we have space? Because as you can see, um, The left margin is kind of on an incline. Right, something like that. So this Joa, here we have the Omega, and here we have the Alpha. Um, the question is, is there a Gma here? Or is that thing tongue is low somewhere here? I think I'm going to put it here. Then the question is, what do we expect to be here? Um, Mm. 
Mm. What are these other formulas with in the name of? Because it's usually in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinitarian invocation. But clearly here we don't have that. Hmm. We have Tillin. Thomas Lord. I mean. Here it says Tillu. Mm. So let's look a bit at this. The question is how much space is there? How much space is there actually? Because as we will see, this, this inscription consists of a list of items like one, two, three, four. Here we have one, two, and so on. And they all, all end seemingly in the verb misalo. I did not. And so we have here misolo at the end of line seven and then on line eight, the beginning a number, which means that we know where the right edge is if we extend it from here. And that's this line. So we have misolo here we have the um, M and then we basically take this thing here and move it here. And so we know now that the right edge is here. Yeah. So that gives us quite a bit of space. So definitely this tongue is lodge should be here, which then actually still gives us quite a bit of space here. And what I should do actually is continue this here. And we don't have anything really that fits here. Unless, of course, it's something like, oh. it's something like in the holy name of God. Problem is this. Ooh. So there must be an adjective here plus plus some, you know, in the name of the blah 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 God. That that's probably what it should be. Don't think we can guess much here now. To God. The absence of an ending of a case marker.
keep this here for a while. Um, OA dot, and then we have totu coin tuta e nil. And now we get into really weird territory. Um, being da -da 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 -da, we don't know what it is yet and then we have Jesusin uh, Presbyteros and then it's like uh, priest of the Jesus Church so what is the word It's also weird that they're using this participial form. It's not really common. And being so verbal noun. Quintut. So this is a um, something with a predicate marker. Alpha. And then the question is what is quintut? Now coin means face, but quintut. I have not seen that before, and I have no idea whether that's been attested. Coin, coin, coin. So this is clearly the word sun again. Tested, maybe in the bean. Coin. Coin ga, coin now. Hmm. Coin ga tir. To give somebody face, acht and respecteren. Could this be the word respected? So in Nobin, apparently, there is a fixed construction to give face, 
literally translated to give face, koingatir, and that may be, maybe something similar is going on here, but then we're just guessing. The word also exists. The word also exists in Dongolawi. Coin front forehead koni konirkasi konirbaj konyali. Very nice word konyali mirror face and shine with of coin and al. Okay. Um. Uh, probably related to coin face. Um, but Page hundred, perhaps respected. Okay, now, um, as I said before, we have this list, right? We have two, three, um, four, four here, five, and then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here yeah, we have these numbers here, it's the number ten. Here. So <clears throat> this allows us then to make this really nice listing. Uh, pop, pop, pop. In the name of God, bring that. So we are now at the end, let's say, of the introduction, and then we can start numbering the things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I have a number here. It's reconstructed. Um, now, the first word is this Magisa. So, we have so many words here that we don't know. Um, it's really kind of exciting, actually. Um, Magisa. And then we have Misselo, and that comes very frequently. This is uh, men. not be with past to sigma. I do not nicely. Yeah, there we go. And then focus marker. Law. Okay, this verb is repeated several times, right? Miso law. I did not. 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 Then the question is. This is an auxiliary construction, right? Um, so this is the um, content verb of the auxiliary construction with 
nicht so laut. Ähm. So this is kind of like English, right? So in English, when you make a negative verb, uh, you use the auxiliary verb did or do. I did not, I do not, I do not kill, I did not eat, and so on. Um, in, in Old Nubian, you have something similar, but you can use, um, you use this negative verb, uh, min, not be, uh, in combination with your, your content verb, right? So you have the auxiliary here, I did not, you can translate in, can translate in English. And then here we have, um, oh, sorry, here we have the, um, the content verb. And so let's have a look here. Um, this in any case is indeed a row. Um, all right, Mary. Sa. So the question is, what is the verb Meris? Again, I've never heard of this verb. Um, Mer, 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 mer. Interestingly, has been attested to form two forms, mer. Actually, I probably should, why don't I just open the dictionary actually here on my screen so you can all look along. We have the dictionary. Da, 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 da. We go to Mer. So we have a verb Merina. It really looks quite similar. And we have this Mer look med. So let's first go to Morina. A wine measure. That doesn't seem right. Then we go to med, which is to prepare or to be ready. But do we have attestations? Oh, we have merd. Here. But this is an old form. This is from Psyche Chrysostomos. It could be this verb. To cut, to run, to be hasty. No being mir. Middle. This is again Psyche Chrysostomos, so that's too early. To cre. Minalo meda. It could be this verb. Okay, well, let's look in other dictionaries. Um, let's put brown here. Let's have a look at... Um, Khalil, because I scanned all of these recently. Where is it? Here. Um, by the way, if you want to have access to all of these resources, we recently started a um, online library. And I'll put the link into the video description. Uh, Suntu Akane a lot of resources on uh, Nubia, including, of course, uh, the dictionary. Oh. Titles. Right. Uh, Old Nubia dictionary right here. Um, Mer. Ah, here we go. Merisa, most beer, beer, huh? T 
That is so interesting. But, okay. But then it is like, it is not beer. Then these are not verbs. Wow. No, that's impossible. This is a verb, Mirisa. I did. It must be a verb. Yeah, it, it must be. I'm reading. So the, the, my issue is, is that if this is a noun, then what does that mean? I am not, then it means like, I am not beer. I am not. is clearly prot. First, I am not beer. This is clearly a verb. Diakalara is a verb. This we don't know. Um, Mary's betrayed for the nearly getal Nubians. Mer, I did not. Schneiden, Anton, we schneiden. This probably looks like the best solution, actually. Mer is.
then this simply means like I did not harm or I did not wound. And then this is is a second past. Then three I misolo diaclao diaclao is also two to order something or to I'm pretty sure I've seen this <coughs> elsewhere. So we have a loan word in Onubian from Greek, one of the two verbal loans. Kalau, to command. Um, but I had the feeling that I had put already diakalau also. Mm -hmm. Okay, not in my grammar. <coughs> Let's check my uh, trusted Greek uh, school book. Um, dictionary, which still contains my notes for my end exam in Greek. Dia Kalaro. Also, order, urge. Um, I did not order. Is there a Yoda there? Yeah, there's a Yoda there. Uh, on tested What is really interesting about this actually is that this is not an auxiliary construction. This is a converb construction because there's no tense marking. That's ah, a missed opportunity. Um, usually you would have something like Merisida Misalo, Diakalaura. Misalo, um, with tense marking on the content verb, but this is absent here, and so this is a convert construction, which with mis with min, has not been attested elsewhere. So this is really a novel development, actually grammatically. Um, note that this is a convert construction. Not an 
auxiliary construction. Although actually here the content verb has tense marking, so it should be. Uh, Suffix basically as found in present day mean. Um, unattested. I did not order for now we get these amazingly crazy forms Tishwashia Tishwatana this is amazing huh? it's this word here Misalo blah 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 and then some stuff here the law here perhaps an epsilon These forms are completely amazing. Mokla in in glory. This is uh, line six. Glory. La. Not in glory. Now, wow, what a word. What is this word? Tishwash. Tishwash, this nearly sounds like an Arabic word. Tishwash, unattested verb. Tishwash, tishwash, tishwash. Um, problem with Khalil. Khalil doesn't have any Arabic loan words, which is super annoying. Um, let's just check, just to be sure. Tish. Irna. Tishna. 
for Fowlin. It's interesting. Um, what does Armorister have? I have to avert Tisha to lose one way from Tusha. Same. Here again. Tish weed. Here, here, Karsten. This is pretty close, Tish. Tish, which Tish? We don't have any wash. What's the other word? Tish what? Tish what done? Flower, Kumar. For the moment, let's just mention this dish. Here again, we don't know what is the verb here. So, Tishwatan.
Okay, pop, pop, pop. Six, seven. Get this as I did. Paragisimin. Paragisimina. Nanyim. Gisimina. Para, Barak. Looks like Pharaohs. Right, so we expect Baraka uh, because of um, Nisimina starting with a consonant. Um, Also, to the name. That's not so clear. Makes sense that then this is simply Nani Misolo. I did not deny. I mean, this should be a kappa, simply. It must be a kappa, because the object
Inferno, Accusative Copper. Hmm. This is the object of this verb. Okay, getting there. Then we have another crazy form. Ngernkasa. What do they have? Ngernkasa. Yeah, this indeed is a Omicron. Not, not, nor, nor casa. Hmm, we have more kiss. It's interesting. I think more kiss. Oh, sorry, let me just do this um, in a way that you can watch along. Um, here. Uh, eight, 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 eight. Eid Nork, Eid Nark, Splendor, but that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for Eid Nork. What does it say again? Nork, Norkis, E.T. Norkis, look to eat men. That totally looks like the right word, men. Man, person, eight. And then it's not here. That's so annoying. Eight on Kale, eight on Ah, here. I and three. Okay, I'm just gonna. Copy this line. It's the Royal Proclamation, isn't it? Um, 
33. I think of this. Ah, this is the curse. Okay. That makes sense. How did I translate that? Um, Thirty. Wound. I think I have it here. The wounder of man. on the basis of what did I conjecture this I don't say does Brown say anything about this form he doesn't have a clue either probably it's certainly something negative um, They say the wounder, he also doesn't know. Mm. Let me have a commentary. Thirty thirty three Norkis compare styles for twelve. Oh. Um, okay, what is in Star Wars 412? Um, Korka, yeah, no, that's not it. Hmm, um, yeah. It is probably something like that. I did not harm, wound. Hmm. Don't think we can make much progress with this unless we find a verb norcos. It's very unlikely. Norak trok und Norak nork noraki. No. Arm Brewster.
Norok, Norogir, very small pieces. Norokana, Noran, Noran, Norok to grind. Okay, but that's uh, causative. Ooh, nothing. Then, um, Tata Dap. Da pak, da to, da pak. Da pa. Ah, this is also again. Nganim Nganim Minalo Do not deny. Da -da -da. And then we have again Nanima Minalo. Line ten. Back, 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 back to pour in. That's very unsatisfactory. Mm. Do we have anything for back?
So we have this in arm bruiser, yeah, this, this back here. But you would expect that to be fec actually in no bean, sorry. Fucky fecke, lumpen, tuitionraum, fuck fik. No, this is definitely not this because it should be with a fuck plus an extra carbon fuck effect fucking fuck a kid That's probably what it was related to first, related to no being. Fucking. Again, no, this must be it. Shelton. Uh, this one, then ah, it goes to up to eleven and twelve actually. I do not. This da buck. Is there something here? Don't no. Maybe there's nothing here. Da buck. Da fuck. Barak. Da Isn't there a place name? Something duff. Duff for gay and for shrind and under gay and. Not 
just make a note. Unattested noun. Wait, we have this verb actually in Obnubian. What, what am I doing? Dub, to perish. There we go. Here. Okay, that's it. So it's a list of denials. I did not, you know, I did not do bad things basically. Um, written by this priest of the Jesus Church. All right, um, not very exciting, I admit, but some very nice new words um, that we don't understand. And maybe at a later point we will. Um, but the structure of the text is clear. And um, and the meaning, or at least what it's supposed to do, also seems to be quite clear. Um, I think then that's it for today. Um, I wanted to do another text as well, but I am running out of time. So I thank you again for your attention. And... Um, Next week, maybe we'll do another text from Soncatino. And until then, um, have a great day. And um, oh, yeah, check also our new Discord channel. Um, actually, I can show this quickly. Let's see. Um, here. Oh. We have a new Discord channel. Uh, on which there is a lot of discussion starting about all things Nubian, uh, old Nubian, Meroitic. We are working on fonts, um, updates on Nubia Fest, um, updates on you know orthographical issues. So like a lot of old and modern Nubian coming here together on the Discord channel, and I will also post a link underneath the YouTube video. And if you like this, please subscribe um, and you will get notifications if you click the little bell um, when I post new videos about Old Nubian. All right. And until then, uh, see you next time. Bye bye.